Hello everybody. Um, I think this tank is getting a bit too small for the Masir. We have uh, two Tor Malabaricas in here. At least there were Bordas Malabaricas. Two Tor Tambroides. One Tor Doronensis. And uh, one Tor Alandi. This is Alandi. This is so-called uh, Taiwanese Masir. The bigger one with darker scales is uh, probably Malabaricus. It looks like our bigger one, our adult. The two smallest are the Tambroides. And the other one doesn't look like Malabaricus. They both two look like Doronensis. So when you buy a little Masir, uh, I usually find the ID information is not always reliable what kind they are, not to mention that uh, Masir taxonomy is in shambles and needs a lot of work, it's confusing, unclear, and the scientist needs much time to and much effort to clear it up. The two uh, red belly paco are aggressive ones, they're biting this, uh, the fins of the black belly paco. And they also de uh, manage to catch masir once in a while and bite their tail fins as well. So that's another reason uh, to take him out. The third reason is uh, masir I notice sometimes jump, not often but maybe once a week, once if several weeks. Some of them try to jump and they hit the lids. Um, usually it's rather inconsequential. Once in a while they can knock out a scale or two. But I don't want them to be doing that, needless to say. And I'm going to try and uh, transfer them to the 1800 gallon tank. This is 240, where they grew up. Well, they grew up in this uh, in this grow out tank first when they were little, quite small. About a year ago, we got them from uh, from a monster fish keeper pier, Mike uh, Shukans. He was changing around something in his tanks, and he uh, sold us rather rather cheap his uh, Masir collection. So they grew up in there, and then uh, for the last half a year or so, because they started biting uh, tank mates, little tank mates in that tank, they had to go, had to be separated and go into this tank. And I think we're ready to go. Um, I'm a bit comprehensive about the uh, 1800 gallon because uh, there are some predators in there that may or may not be able to try and uh, hunt the masir like uh, the big detonoid perches they concern me as well as perhaps the uh, tig catfish I don't think anybody else would be able to hurt them so those are the only two I'm going to have to look for and see if if there is any if there is any action predatory action that's undesirable. The biggest masseurs I'm not too worried about is the smallest ones. They're a little bit too small. It looks like about eight inches total length with the tail a couple of the small ones and maybe the uh, Taiwanese masir because it's so uh, thin it's a cigar shaped fish that's uh, much easier to swallow than the uh, higher back masirs of the other kinds
Okay, I'm gonna feed them and then transfer them later. I'll show you the result, how they are in the 1800 gallons. Yeah, they're a little uh, nervous right now because they don't know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But usually when I feed them, it's a frenzy, just like you see right now. Everything is consumed as quickly as possible. I filmed the prior um, four segments like, I don't know, three months ago. I kept uh, having cold feet about rehoming these into the 1800 gallon. Again, for the fear of the predators, the uh, detonoid perches and the remaining teak in there. But today I decided to go for it. So I'm going to take these five out and put them in the 1800 gallon tank and observe closely if there are any uh, predator attempts I will take the smallest ones again out but for now I think they should be able to do it, to make it in there they're very smart very quick fish very very strong swimmers so they're um, Keeping them in, in 240 gallons is a shame. They're very strong swimmers. They, um, they enjoy the space a lot. So I want to give them... Uh, I want to risk it and give them the biggest space I can give it to them right now. I keep risking uh, fish to give them uh, the biggest tank I can. So uh, once in a while it bites me pretty bad in my hiney when I lose fish because, because of premature rehoming or if they cannot handle the predators in their new tank. But let's see. I'm going to rehome them and then uh, show you how they are in the, in the 1800 gallon next. Here they are.
Welcome to your new home guys. Embroiders, Doronensis, Alandi. This is Sinensis, the big one that was here. Alandi jumped and hit his head pretty good. So he's a bit out of it. My neighbor is shooting guns. Never mind. That's the other Sinensis that that's an old inhabitant here. It's Cambroides supposedly. Cambroides, probably both Duronensis. Sinensis, this is Red Masir. This is uh, Putitora. Ampala Bar. This is the other Red Masir. Hopefully they're okay here. They look a little, little smaller in this tank, of course. This is Sinensis uh, normal body and this Sinensis is the tall body, the biggest one in there, the greediest one. Again, the normal body Tor Sinensis, Chinese Masir. And the tall body Chinese Masir right here. Okay. Here we are so far. I will film a little later when everybody settles down to make sure I show you a little bit more than just the initial introduction. It's been about uh, four hours since they're homing and everything is fine. The little guys are fine, look good, relaxed, nobody's bothering them. So we're gonna feed them now and fill them a little bit. guys are a little apprehensive but I already saw them feeding when I offered them a snack about three hours ago they partook some so I think they'll be fine here they all are six of them This cigar like Hollandi, Hollandi, right here. This is a red masseur, Chinese masseur, Malabaricus in the bottom. The supposed uh, Tambroides. Another Tambroides next to him, Malabaricus, Tambroides. The the, the other Malabaricus, which looks like t Doronensis as well, this one, Alandi, Red, 
Tututora, Malabaricus, Tambroides Doronensis, Tambroides Doronensis, Malabaricus Doronensis, Alandi, Sinensis, the tall body Sinensis, Red, Tutora. Hopefully we're able, you're able to follow a little bit what I'm showing and uh, naming here. So all in all, I think we're doing fine. This is a full day later. Everything is fine. All the new masseurs are good. This is just a little uh, midnight, uh, midday snack. damage on them. Whatever little uh, fin damage they have is from the prior tank and from the rehoming from yesterday. Everybody else looks good. Uh, everything else looks good. Nobody tried to eat them overnight. So we're good here. 